Hey guys, just doing a test fit of the leg pistons. In the movies, they, these acted like a, like a hydraulic piston for the legs and the feet to move. So I'm kind of somewhat trying to simulate it. Uh, I built half of it, 50% of it out of metal. It's just metal, some hot glue, some screws, no big deal. But I just wanted to show you guys with it in action. This is just kind of a rough test fit. I actually don't have the shoe inside right now or anything. I just wanted to see if this thing is actually even going to work before I... I go even bigger on it. So it looks like it's going to work out. That's pretty awesome. Still need to paint the piston and fully attach it, but I think it's going to work, guys. This is becoming pretty legit. So I also wanted to show you guys how I actually did the pistons. So here we actually have the 3D printed piston piece right here. I have these are two separate pieces. This was a separate piece too. It's glued on and it's just held together with a screw. Um, I kind of wanted it to be able to move a little bit like that because if this is completely static, it just it might crack and break. So I wanted to let it have a little bit of give. And then inside here is just some aluminum tubing. And then here is an aluminum rod. Both, both of these I got at Lowe's. There's some aluminum tubing in there. There's two separate aluminum rods that were hot glued into this tube. And then this rod right here is drilled and tapped for a 632 screw to run underneath here like so so when like you sh like you saw when i was walking this tube here should okay it should go right in there we go like so Pretty cool. And then this part right here will just be super glued in to the back of the cav. And that's it. The inside here I put some Velcro and then the feet are actually right here. These also have some Velcro on them and they just get Velcroed in. And they actually are pretty comfortable, surprisingly. So I wanted to show you the, the paint job. So this is the paint job so far. And this is pretty much the same method I've used on the whole suit. A little bit of silver, some blue highlights, some purple highlights, and some clear. Pretty simple. I did forget to mention one thing on this piece here. This rod, I drilled a hole in this tubing for this rod to slide right down in there. And then it's drilled and tapped to secure this. And then these rods are just hot glued right next to this tube inside of the, the actual tubing here. Pretty simple. Uh, I was looking at some reference photos of the Robocop 1 suit and I was able to see that they did the same thing. I saw the screw here and then they uh, drilled and tapped the rod the same way. Uh, I'm not, I'm pretty sure they just glued these rods into the tubing also somehow. I wanted to use hot glue in case I ever wanted to take it off. If I super glued it, <clears throat> excuse me, it would have been really hard to take out. <clears throat> sorry about that so yeah that's it and we're rocking and rolling still just wanted to show you guys we are finishing up the last tidbits i'm getting the midsections here painted uh, these are just the display midsections these are the hard midsections that i use actually to mold for my uh for my foam midsections which are down there um, th these are going to be displayed in my room, but I'm going ahead and getting those painted. Also getting the hands painted over here. 
So that's where we're at. We got the leg pistons down there, the shoulder rings, the kneecaps or knee crowns. Those are going to get finished up. And after all this stuff's painted, the suit will be complete. Pretty much done. There's some last little things I need to do. There's some uh, rubber inserts I'm going to put in the elbows and the and the the front elbows and the back elbows and the knees and the back knees, which I will do a video on that when I get to it. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys, still making progress, little by little.